Our Operation Basketball Sinclair College Game of the Week had the 2-2 two two Northmont Thunderbolts visiting in the 3-1 Miamisburg Vikings. Each team still seek, uh, seeking a first victory in the G-Walk. This game resembling a rugby match at times. Both teams very scrappy off the Berg block by Corey Hartman. The ball goes out to Duncan Hall, the junior center, going to bring it home for the easy lay-in. Northmont turning up the pressure. The steal at half court is taken by Lewis Danny, the junior guard. Takes it to the rack for two. Tough to defend a player when he can rain him down like this. The Vikings, Jackson Myers from deep in the corner, buries the three ball. The ball bouncing and bodies flying around in this one. Here the tip goes to the Berg. The Vikes off and running. Duncan Hall racing in for another easy two. Check out the T-Bolts, Ryan Foy taking the pass and in heavy traffic, the senior will land the one-handed hook. That's a nice looking shot right there. Back and forth we go. Savannah O'Neill with the stutter step. He'll bring it down the lane for the bucket and one. Northmont then showing some finesse when senior guard Jabari Perkins knocks down the triple try. This game needing overtime to decide it. The Thunderbolts able to pull away in the extra period and defeat the Vikings 63-58. to The top two teams in the SWBL Southwestern Division squaring off in Franklin. The Wildcats hosting Bellbrook. Jared Kinzer getting things started for the Cats with this successful drive to the basket. Bingo. The Golden Eagles keeping pace off the Franklin miss. Storm Painter grabs the rebound and throws a lightning strike to Hayden Green for the layup. See what I did there? Storm, lightning, get it? Check out the sweet crossover by Jared Kinzer, and he will deliver the nice stroke from the paint for two. The Wildcats Kinzer, he was a force this evening here. The senior going to take it down the lane and finish with the scoop for the score. Bellbrook still battling off the miss. Jack Campbell, he is going to fight and he will get the stick back. But it was too much of the Cats and Kinzer to contend with. The no-look pass here gonna go to Cole Bundren, and he will lay it up and in. It's Franklin by seven over Bellbrook, 62-55. Tippecanoe defeats Greenville, 66-51. Sydney a winner over Pitwa, 69-61. Alter falls to McNicholas, 54-40. It was Miami East improving to 5-0 with a 39-22 win over Arcanum. And a big over Jackson Center, 66 to 39. And Trotwood puts up 100 against Xenia. Next stop, Carlisle, the Madison Mohawks, taking a swipe at the Indians. Second half action. Carlisle's number two will sink a three. That's Jonathan Shepard putting the Indians ahead by five with that triple. Great ball movement by Madison here. Matt Gomia going to lay up and in. Carlisle bending but not breaking. Jake Moore going to take it down the lane, and it will go down the drain. The Mohawks, Tristan Simple, making it look simple with this nifty move to the rack, and he will score the two. No retreat by the Indians, however. Jonathan Shepard going to get it on the blocks. The sophomore will take it strong to the rim, and he will get the bucket and one. Carlisle gets the win versus Madison Senior, 57-49. Valley View nips Monroe, 34-32. Another action, it was Oakwood over Eaton, 62-59. Twin Valley South over Natty Trail, 45-41. Carroll winner over Baden, 48-31. Butler, big over Troy, 68-42. Thurgood Marshall defeats Stivers by three, 43-40. Lebanon over Beaver Creek, 49-44. Fairmont a winner over Springboro, 48-40. Springfield Catholic, big over Cedarville, 80-55. And Centerville falls to Springfield tonight, 50-37.